Welcome to the spoken tutorial on interrupt handling. In this tutorial, we will learn how to handle the software interrupt in the driver. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox 5.2, Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0 hyphen 31 generic gedit text editor to follow this tutorial you should be familiar with c programming language and basics of linux kernel if not then go through the c c++ and linux spoken tutorials on this website the function that runs in response to a specific interrupt is called an interrupt handler. Different devices can be associated with different interrupts. A driver needs to handle the interrupts properly for its device. In this tutorial, a user program will open and close the device file. When the user program opens a device, the software interrupt will be triggered by the driver. When the kernel receives an interrupt, the registered handler from the driver will be executed. Go to the device driver folder in the desktop which we have created earlier. In this directory, I have created a directory named interrupt. Here, I have Saved an interrupt.c make file and user.c files. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where interrupt is saved on your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space interrupt.c. We have to include an interrupt.h kernel header file to register an interrupt. The purpose of each file is mentioned as shown here. In this file, I have implemented only open and close file operations for a device. We have defined the IRQ line number as 2, which will be used in this driver. The devices can send interrupts to the processor using these IRQ lines. We have implemented an interrupt handler as shown here. When the kernel receives the respective interrupt, it will execute this handler. In the initialization function, we have to register the interrupt handler. Drivers can register an interrupt handler and enable a given interrupt line for handling. The request underscore IRQ function is used to register an interrupt handler. The first parameter specifies the interrupt number to allocate. This value is typically hard coded in the kernel. The second parameter is a function pointer to the actual interrupt handler. This function is invoked whenever the kernel receives the interrupt. The third parameter can be either 0 or 1 or any of the flags defined in the interrupt.h. The fourth parameter is used to identify the device interrupt name. The fifth parameter is used for shared interrupt lines. This parameter is used to identify 
the handlers on the same interrupt line. Let us see some important flags that can be used by request underscore IRQ function. IRQF underscore disabled. It disables all interrupts when executing this interrupt handler. IRQF underscore sample underscore random. It specifies that interrupts should contribute to the kernel entropy pool. IRQF underscore timer. It is used to mark this interrupt as timer interrupt. IRQF underscore shared. It allows sharing the IRQ among several devices. Switch back to the code. Request underscore IRQ function will register the IRQ underscore handler with the name my underscore interrupt. My underscore interrupt is used by slash PROC slash interrupts for communication with the user. Here we have used the IRQ F underscore shared flag. On success, request underscore IRQ function returns 0. A non-zero value indicates an error. In the open function ASM brackets INT $50 instruction will trigger the interrupt. We are not going to use any hardware interrupt as they can come from anywhere at any time. Here we are going to trigger a software interrupt using the INT instruction. Let us see how to calculate the interrupt line number. In Linux, IRQ to vector mapping is done using first underscore external underscore vector macro. To raise an interrupt IRQ2, we have to add 2 to a vector of IRQ0 as shown here. The ASM instruction will be executed while opening the device file of our driver. When this instruction executes, it will raise the interrupt IRQ2. When the driver unloads, we need to unregister the interrupt handler. The free underscore IRQ function is used to remove the handler and disable the line if not shared. If it is shared and no handlers remain on the line, the given interrupt line will be disabled. In the exit function, we have used the free function to remove the handler from the kernel. It will unregister the interrupt handler from the kernel. Now save and close the file. Let us now open the user program. Type gedit space user.c. The program will open and close a device using respective system calls. Now save and close the file. Clear the screen. To be a super user, type sudo space su. Now type the system password. Let's compile the driver. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Now let us load the driver into the kernel. Type insmod space interrupt.ko Type cat space slash proc slash interrupts space pipe space grep space my underscore interrupt. Interrupt file in procfs contains the list of registered interrupts in the system. This command will show the registered interrupt my underscore interrupt and its IRQ line number.
In the output, we can see our registered interrupt name and IRQ number. It indicates that our interrupt handler is registered successfully. Clear the screen. Now compile the user program. Type gcc c user.c. Type gcc o user dot out user dot o. Now let us execute the user program. Type dot slash user dot out. Here output shows that the device opened and closed successfully. Clear the screen. Type dmesg space pipe space rep space my underscore driver. This message shows that the device open function triggered the interrupt. It indicates that as soon as the interrupt triggered, its handler got executed. After the execution of the handler, the remaining code from the open function is executed. It shows that the driver properly handled the interrupt. Clear the screen. Now let's unload the driver. Type rmmod space interrupt dot ko. Let us see the unloaded print k messages. Type dmesg space pipe space grep space my underscore driver. Here we can see our interrupt handler is unregistered from the kernel. Clear the screen. To remove the object files, type make space clean. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned interrupt handling in the driver. As an assignment, open the interrupt.c driver file, write the interrupt instruction, in the release function, compile and load the driver, compile and execute the user program. See the output using dmesg command. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have general or technical questions on the embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. The tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.